G'day, I'm Casey, I'm 16 from Nelson and I'm here to check out uh, Heavy Automotive Engineering. So we're sending Casey off to Sunny Nelson's Heslop Motors to find out more about the potential career opportunities. G'day, Casey, how you doing? Good, I'm Mike Shallock, I'm here at Heslop, the operations manager. I hear you want to have a look around what we do in the automotive heavy industry. I would do, yep. So, yep we'll head over to the workshop and we'll get in and start looking at some trucks. Cool. Right up, we'll head this way. Sure. <laughs> Heavy automotive engineering is the service and repair of trucks. Um, trucks are the mainstay of our economy. They move the majority of the freight round. So we, we do all the servicing and repairs on, on heavy trucks. And there's also machinery involved in that as well. There's um, we have loaders, excavators, forklifts, etc. Mike begins by showing Casey through a pre-certificate of fitness check. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to check around the outside of the cab of the vehicle, check all the lights and the wipers and the horn, etc. So I'll hop back in the truck and work the controls and I'll holler out to you and you can tell me what's going on. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Righto. We'll just check the um, the park lights now. Casey. Working. Working. Headlights. Yep. High beam. Perfect. High beam good. And we'll try the uh, wipers. Definitely going. Going all right. And the washers. Oh yeah. Yep, working good. With a thorough visual inspection inside and out, it's time to make sure the brakes are working. We're on the brake roller tester now. What we do is I apply the brake like normal driving and the um, machine uh, registers the amount of force each brake is doing and it checks for imbalance across an axle and also for the total brake force of the vehicle All to right. make sure it complies with the regulations. And, let them and you'll feel the vehicle just, yep, there it is there. All right. But now we've got to move forward and we've got to check the two back axles as well. Okay. Right Next, it's under the truck to check the steering, suspension, wheel bearings and other mechanical parts. Oh, this is a pit jack. Uh, this is used for lifting the vehicle, the axle off the uh, ground so we can check wheel bearings and steering again. Um, these are different attachments just for different styles of axles. The pit jack can lift up to 12 tonnes. With the front wheels off the ground, Casey can check that the various mechanical parts are securely attached and moving correctly. The person we're looking for has to be um, obviously hard working, uh, willing to learn. There's a lot of new technology in the industry, so we want people that are willing to learn and take on board the, you know, the electronic side of the business. And having a mechanical interest is quite handy to have in the industry. It's, it's obviously you can be interested in the job then and, and um, what's going on around you. It can be a learnt, but if you're you know, more interested or you've got a love of what you're doing, it obviously makes the job more fulfilling and more rewarding. Casey, okay, so this is a truck we'll look at for doing some, some wheel alignment checks on it. Okay. Just to give you an idea of what's involved with doing the wheel alignment. Just make sure that seat's in there. With eight wheels to line up, there's no room for any of the wheels to be out of kilter. This can lead to undue wear on the tyres and the burning of excess fuel. We take a reading forward and we turn around, we're shining the laser towards the back. And we take a reading at the rear of the truck and see it down there. Yeah. The laser readings show the tyres are out of line and the wheel alignment will need adjusting. Making adjustments of his own is Josh Thompson, one year into his apprenticeship with the New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation and training towards his heavy automotive engineering qualification. What sort of qualifications do you have to have to uh, be where you are now? First, you've got to go to school, get level one. Yeah. Yeah, level one NC8. And then. I guess you've got to find some place that will take you on. For I yours, here's lots. Yeah, here's yeah. lots. Here's lots took me on. I started as an after school boy, just yeah. cleaning up and that, and then offered me an apprenticeship. So Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the one. And what sort of things does your apprenticeship involve? Ah, oh, everything. Taking jar shafts off. Oh, yeah? Yeah, up to going out on recoveries. Recovery awesome. trips. Yeah, going with guys that are more experienced than you. Really? Taking you out, yep. Yeah. Is that quite fun? It is. Get away from the workshop once in a while. Yeah. So, yeah, makes a huge difference. What sort of personality do you need uh, for this job? You can't be lazy. So you've got to you want to do it. You've got to want it. You've got to strive to do it. Yep. Paul Hawkes, a customer service manager for the New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation, is paying an on-site visit to see how Josh is progressing on the job. G'day Josh, how you yeah, Paul. Good. Good to see you mate. You too. Excellent. And while Josh is catching up on his paperwork, a roadside rescue call comes in for a bus in distress. Yeah. <laughs> How are you going there? Yeah, you're yeah. good. You're broken down. Yeah, no, the bus won't start. So just you turn the key and nothing happens? Or? Turn the key and it's just dead as a dead eye. Dead as a dead eye? Righto. Yeah. We better have a look at the um, wiring down to the starter motor, mate. I'll just show you where that is. Righto, Casey, it looks like the, um, the starter motor cable onto the starter's loose. We need to grab a spanner, 17mm spanner, and tighten it up. 
there's more probably time pressure because the truck needs to be kept out on the road, it needs to be kept mobile and it can only make money where it's mobile. So the operators obviously don't like the vehicle being off the road for extended periods of time. Uh, we'll give it a shot, see if she starts. All right. There she goes. Oh, that's good. We've got it all fixed, mate. These are good. So we we'll uh, can tell the bus driver he can head away and we can head back to the workshop. All right. With the bus safely back on the road, it's back to the workshop for Casey and into the cab of a brand new fire truck. Automotive technician Henry Ford is just finishing his service. What are we up to? Yeah, we're just going to go in here and finish off the service and check all the bolt codes in this truck. With the laptop's interface cable connected, the computer diagnostic checks can be carried out. What I enjoy about the job is it's always, every day is different. You never, you do the same job, but it's always on different vehicles and, and uh, there's different things happening. There's breakdowns you go to attend to and new technologies coming out all the time, new vehicles, and you have to learn about that. So. The diagnostic check reveals a fault in the right ABS control valve and lets them know where to find it and how to fix it. And we look in here and I find that plug's not plugged in properly. Alright. Okay. So if you'd like, you can plug, plug that one in and for a twist. Should have sorted out our fault. Nice work, Casey, but what does Mike think? Casey's looking really good. He's showing interest in it. He's looking around, he's asking the right questions. He seems very interested in what's happening and keen, so they're the sort of people we're looking for. Oh, it was fantastic. It was a great experience and uh, really looking forward to taking it further. It's um, been good. It's where I want to head, so anything I can get now is going to benefit in the future. A national certificate in automotive heavy engineering level four typically takes three to four years of on-the-job training to complete in conjunction with the New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation. The secondary school training program Startup provides a pathway into the industry. Useful subjects to study include English, mathematics, physics, technology and computer studies. The demand for automotive heavy engineers is likely to increase due to the growing number of heavy vehicles registered on our roads. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.